Welcome to Intermediate Algebra. My name is Sarah Adams and I'm going to be your instructor this quarter. And I wanted to give you a tour of the Canvas course so that you kind of know how I have set this up to try and make it as intuitive as possible to navigate the course. So if you're watching this video, you've likely already clicked on the introduction and video tour, but um, Let's start out at home, which is the tab you can always go to when you're feeling maybe like you're lost in the course. <laughs> this is always going to be where you will go to center yourself, bring you back to the main area of Canvas. From there, the first module is all about how to navigate Canvas in my class. So in the intro module, you should look through your do this on or before the first day of class. And this is a list of things that you should know about my class. And if you haven't done the list of eight things here, you should work through them on or before the first day of class. Another nice feature in Canvas is the Next button, which will take you to the next item in the module. So we'll just click that. And there's your introduction and video tour, which you're watching right now. And then course overview, time commitment, communication and responsibility, technology expectations, and then some advice for being an online class. Now, this is a fully online class, meaning you can't really connect with me in person. I am working remotely this quarter. And so the best way to negotiate that is to come to the Zoom times that I have available, which is the conferencing times. And there are links for that. We also have the grade breakdown. So just take a few minutes and read through this. Here's some information about me. I've had a very unique experience to get me to where I am right now. And some of you might find that interesting and helpful to understand how I structure my courses. Here's the general course schedule. and then an Ask a Classmate forum. Now, this forum is going to be very, very helpful if you all embrace it as your discussion forum. <laughs> so what I mean by that is you can get out of this forum what you put into it. Those of you who put a lot of effort into helping each other out will most likely get more out of the course than someone who doesn't put a lot of effort into connecting with others and working hard to understand the concepts. Now, the last thing in the intro module is a student conduct expectation and acknowledgement signature. <laughs> and what that is is just a way to show me that you've read the syllabus which is over here, right under the home link in the top left corner of the screen. You've read the syllabus, you understand what the expectations are for all the students in the class, and it also gives you an idea of what I am expecting of you. So if you don't necessarily agree with all those things, you obviously should probably find another instructor. Now, if we move on to the next, button. This has moved us into the next module. Notice this says take home test and it has some information about why I've assigned this take home test. This is a review of your prior knowledge and it shouldn't take you that long to do. There are 50 questions in there and I know that sounds like a lot but for those of you who have been out of school for a while this will probably be very beneficial 
And for those of you who have been doing math recently and feel very comfortable about the placement into this class, we'll probably be able to move through these questions very quickly. So I'm going to move back by clicking to home, and I'm going to show you where that take home test is. It's in the second module. Now this is due on the Monday of the second week, and so you should be sure to start working on that very, very soon. Now, the next module will start popping up the weeks of assignments just like you would get in a normal class. So I'm going to click on week one, and there's an overview. This first week is my attempt to help you understand how every week will look. There will be a read, a post, a watch and follow along, and a do section. These sections will be consistent throughout the entire quarter, so once you see a pattern, it should be fairly easy to get into a routine and you kind of will know what to expect this quarter once you've seen one week, you've seen how I structure the class. Now I'm going to really emphasize something. Every time you look at your home section, you should always go to the module that is for that week. What I mean by that is, if you live and die by the to-do list off on the right hand side of your modules, there is a very, very good chance you will miss something that was due. There are two ways you can keep track of the assignments and what you should be prioritizing during the week. These are the two ways I recommend you keep track of everything. In the week modules, you should see the order in which things are due. You can see the links to the things you should be looking at. And you can see where the homework is, where the quiz is, and the order in which these things are due will be consistent each week. So you don't have to be concerned that the order is going to change and your due dates are going to change each week. The next way that you can find out when things are due, so you're not putting all your emphasis on this to-do list over on the right side, is to view the course calendar. The course calendar will show you all the assignments and when they are due. For those of you who are viewing this maybe a few quarters later, there's a good chance the assignments will be ordered slightly different. However, this is where you go to see what assignments are due on what day. And you can see that there's quite a lot due on the first day of the quarter. The other nice thing about looking at your calendar is that it allows you to click on those items and it will then hyperlink you back to that page or that assignment. So this is a very powerful tool for you and I really, really strongly encourage you, do not live and die by the to-do list. The last thing that I want to mention, actually there are two more things I want to show you. Grades are where you will find how you're doing. So if you scroll down, you can see there is a total that is not applicable. There's no grades yet because we haven't started the quarter. But as the quarter progresses, you can check your grades. You can also check what if scores by clicking in here and entering a what if score. This is not going to change your grade, but it will show you what score you would need to get and what that will do to your total weight, weighted grade in the class. So that's kind of cool. Also, if there's a comment, it will show up as a bubble here. If something's graded, you can also look at the rubric and see if I've made comments within the rubric. This will make more sense as we move through the course. Also, if you click on Announcements, you will occasionally get an announcement from me. These are very important to read. They are usually related to when your tests for the class will be, what modality those tests will be in, and maybe some review 
concepts or maybe even some practice problems before your tests. These are very, very important to read. And sometimes they'll just be words of encouragement, but usually they have even more important things in them, like don't miss this due date or you won't be dropped from the class, something like that. So do not ignore the announcements. Let's go back to home. The announcements will show up in the announcements tab. They will also show up at the top of your home screen. And if you haven't read them yet, they will also show up in your to-do list. I hope this has helped you understand how to navigate this particular class. I also hope that you have a great experience this quarter and that I get to know every one of you in my Zoom office hours. Good luck this quarter and stay in touch.